Hi, I'm George, TSG's Open Content Product Manager. In this short demo, I'm going to show a very high-level interface comparison of Documentum D2 as compared to Open Content Management Suite. So here I am at the D2 login page, and I'm just going to enter my repository credentials and log in. Uh, you're taken to the D2 interface, which is uh, very configurable from a separate admin application. Um, and in this case, uh, we've configured a couple of different what D2 calls workspaces. So we have an underwriting workspace and a claims workspace in this example, kind of using an insurance scenario. And inside the workspace, there's a number of widgets. So we can have things like search widgets. I can see I have a couple configured here. There's a save search widget. Then there's a widget here for working with documents or browsing the repository. And as you can see here, you can narrow down the uh, cabinets that the user can display or that the user can see. Um, and the user can um, change these uh, around. So I can you know, drag things around. Um, I can move these, like if I look for documents more than uh, policy folders, I can drag those around and uh, kind of configure this uh, interface uh, how I like. Um, you can also double click any of the widgets to make them take up the full pane if uh, you want more room, so you can definitely do that. Um, and then specifically around the search widgets, uh, like I mentioned, there's these uh, configured search widgets, and then there's also an advanced search. So I can get to that from the save search here, this advanced search dialog, or from this document list, I can just click this and bring up the advanced search, which we're gonna talk a lot more about in the next uh, video in this series. Within the actual uh, folder list, I can kind of drill down here and look at documents within a folder, um, which gives me the ability to look at documents in this folder and I can sort based on the different columns here. Um, and there's limited filtering available where here I can say I want to filter on this particular column. Uh, and again, we'll take a look more at this in a future demo. Uh, and then any of these documents, if I click on them, um, I can see a preview of the document here uh, in this preview widget. Uh, one thing to note with this is that D2 will only show previews for uh, any object in the repository that has a PDF rendition. So if the document doesn't have a PDF rendition, then nothing will show up here. Now for working with these documents, uh, mainly there's done through right-click actions as well as some actions over here. So I can right-click on this selected document and then uh, the admin can configure some actions here. So for example, at editing the document, um, things with workflow and lifecycle and properties, uh, all based on permissions, obviously, so I can delete, so I can delete this document. Um, and then one that we added was the ability to annotate. So if I click this, it'll open up or open annotate to annotate the document. Um, but we can also do some things over here as well. Uh, so some of this is duplicated based on this current configuration, uh, but the content menu over here will work against whatever I have highlighted on this side. So then down below here on any of these documents, there's kind of these uh, supporting widgets down here, so to speak, um, where the user can look at, say, versions or renditions of the document. Uh, we can change this one so you can see it has a word and a... Uh, PDF rendition or this one that has multiple versions uh, that we can take a look at here. Um, and then in D2, uh, the user can add widgets. So um, I can decide if I want to add a widget, which brings up this widget gallery that lets the user uh, pick other widgets to display. And uh, the workspaces concept can keep things uh, separate. So I have my underwriting workspace, which could look one way, and my claims workspace, which in this case has uh, some claim specific things like searches on claims documents and claims folders. So now I'm going to switch over to Open Content Management Suite, and we're going to take a look at uh, just a high level view of this interface. So I'm going to log in as a consumer user in this repository. And we're taken to the dashboard, which can be configured in our admin interface uh, based on what the admin wants the user to see based on their groups. Um, and then the user can hear, can kind of change things around if they want to see things in a different way. 
Now, Open Content Management Suite is much more search-driven versus folder browser-driven. We feel that this is a much more powerful, simple way for users to find content within the system. Um, so our search is based on uh, what we call track, which is sort of analogous to the workspace concept within D2. Um, but in this case here, I'm looking for policies so I can see some fields that I search on based on finding policies. But I can change that to underwriting document and then based on admin configurations, this view changes. Um, and then we have other scenarios configured here, but just kind of keeping with that insurance scenario, I can also come in here and look for claims or claim documents. And we'll dive more, like I said, into the search in the next demo. Uh, so here I'm just going to go ahead and run a quick search. Um, so we also have the ability to click on columns to uh, filter them. Um, we can also show and hide columns. So maybe some columns uh, the user decides they want to see um, and can uh, show them. Or we can go ahead and hide the columns. And then filtering here works uh, on the entire table. So you don't filter per column, but I can just start typing and it's going to filter down the table no matter what uh, column the value is in. So now I'm going to jump into one of these folders and we can see a quick list of the documents that are in the folder as well as some actions that are, can be performed in the folder uh, and some related content as well. Um, so with the documents here, I can say right click on the document and uh, view some uh, actions that are on the document. I can click the document itself and view uh, the document in this case in our open annotate product, which will let us annotate directly on top of the document. And then some document actions can appear up above here. Um, one that we like to talk about is view properties can display in the same uh, container as the uh, document so that I can see the properties and the content at the same time. And then in this view here, we can also do the filtering. So I can filter down based on, say, the tags attribute here in this case. Uh, we can also filter by facets. So I can filter as well to say, you know, oh, maybe only show me contracts and correspondence. And we also have the ability to view multiple documents at once. So if I'm looking at this policy contract, um, I might also want to look at this report at the same time, and I can go ahead and do that uh, so they can view two documents at once on my same screen. Well, that's it for this short demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website and blog at tsgrp.com, and look out for the uh, next few demos that will be a deeper dive into comparing certain features within DocumentMD2 to our open content management suite.